Hey, Lashpreneurs, on this episode, we're going to talk about discounting and why maybe we shouldn't do that until we've done something else first. And what is that thing that we should do first is really understand our numbers. Otherwise, we're just discounting to discount. There's not actually a strategy, which is how you end up being uh, really, really cheap and not getting any new clients or getting clients that or are only there for the deal and the discount. And when you try to establish regular pricing, they don't want to stick around. So you're in an endless cycle of discounting, trying to be the cheapest slash artist in, or business owner in all the land. And then you don't have any money left over. So what is it that you should be doing instead of discounting? Well, if you're going to run a business, I hate to break it to you. You're going to have to know your numbers. <laughs> I know we're not taught that in beauty school. We're barely taught that in school. And we have belief around money and numbers and financials that is probably not serving us. But guess what? If you want to be in business, it is your due diligence, your responsibility, your, your privilege, your opportunity, if you will, to learn the number side of running your business, the financial side of running your business, because we all get into business to make money. And if you're not actually tracking the money, if you're not actually understanding the language of your business, which is the financials, then we are going to be running around in circles, not knowing what's working, and we're not going to see the numbers grow in the direction we want. In fact, we will freak out when the numbers start to decline, and we won't know how to solve for it. And so we'll do things like throw out really big discounts, thinking that's going to solve it. And then we find that we're just running around like chicken with our head cut off. And I don't want that for you. You're here. You have trusted me with your time right now. And I want to make sure that it is benefiting you to create the business, but more so importantly, the lifestyle that you want to get you some more time and freedom. And part of that is knowing your numbers. I spent way too long in business uh, not focusing on this information. And I can tell you, uh, if you've been around for a while, maybe three, three and a half years, you saw me shut down the business because uh, I wasn't doing these things. So let's talk about discounting in theory. So why do people discount? Let's first start with that question. Number one reason, probably the only reason why people discount is to get clients in the door, right? We're trying to do it as a client attraction strategy of like, cool, 30% off, 50% off, $20 off, whatever you want to label it, discount away, right? Sometimes we do it as a means of trying to encourage loyalty to our customers as a thank you or a reward, or a way to make up for not meeting expectations. Like there's lots of dis for reasons for discounting. So why is discounting a bad thing? Well, it's not. When it's done with a strategy in place, it can be a very effective strategy for marketing. So either retaining clients. So we've talked about in the past, like a pre-booking discount, right? It is to incentivize a behavior. What discounting should be seen of, as in your business is a means to creating an action now or a response now in a client or potential client versus them waiting around. That's why your discount should always have a condition with it, right? Whether it's um, a limited time offer or only a certain amount available, or it's only offered to these certain people, or you have to book by the end of the month or whatever. There should always be terms and conditions around your discount so that it's not you know, 20% off for life um, or ongoing because it doesn't actually create that scarcity and that urgency to make a decision now. So if you're taking any way from, anything away from this episode, just make sure that you understand that discounts need to have some sort of end date, expiration date, or it's only limited to a certain number of people, okay? So that creates the scarcity so that they take action now. That's what we want, right? We used it, I mean, look at Black Friday, right? Where every retailer has some version of, a massive discount, right? And we as a society are very conditioned to wait for the Black Friday deals. Although at this point, it's like all of November now, right? Like you can start getting Black Friday deals from Target in like September, right? We've kind of pushed the limit on it. But it is a very scarce, short time frame of high discounts for the intention of Christmas, which is like five, four or five weeks away from usually Black Friday, right? And so it is incentivizing people to buy now instead of wait or, you know, buy earlier or buy later. It's like, this is the time frame to buy, which means that there's a lot of sales that happen. So it's very effective at getting a lot of sales in a very short period of time. So discounting with a strategy can be very, very effective for the purpose of getting a lot of sales in a short period of time. That's why we use it. You may be taking a cut in your profitability, but that's kind of where we see discounting happening in our industry that's discounting, Scotch is very upset about this as well. Uh, Scotch, uh, we're discounting just to discount, that there's no strategy behind it. 
they're trying to be the cheaper apple of all the other apples because likely you don't understand marketing and you don't know what makes you stand out compared to your competition. So you're trying to be cheaper thinking everybody is on an even playing field in your area. That is not true. The more effective you are at your marketing, the less selling and discounting you have to do. So if you don't want to discount, please don't say that I'm encouraging you to discount or Tara only teaches to discounting. No, 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 my friend, quite the opposite. I either want you discounting with some end result in mind that you're working towards and being strategic about, and we'll talk about that today, or get really good at marketing so that you don't have to discount or you don't have to use a strategy like discounting. But discounting, again, can be very effective for creating a lot of sales in a short period of time. So what should you be doing instead of discounting or first before you ever consider a discount? Because the question becomes, when we go to discount is, how much should I discount? It's not really a great question to ask because there is no answer. Because my follow-up question that to be is, what is your goal? What is it we're trying to accomplish by using a discount? And in order to know that, you have to have a dollar amount in mind or a number of clients, either or, right? So either I want to get five new clients in the door in the next week or in the next 10 days, whatever, pick a timeline, pick a dollar amount or a number of clients, right? If you have a number of clients like five, put it into a dollar amount. How many new full sets or new facials or new uh, Brazilians do you want to get in the door and get a dollar amount? So you have a timeline and a dollar amount. Now, some of y'all may get, I want to make $5,000 in the next 10 days. Uh, and your business on average has been doing $1,500 a month, it's not likely to happen, but we can set reasonable goals. So let's say, for example, I want five new clients, we'll call them full sets, right? And normally I charge, again, I'm going to try and keep the math easy, $200 a full set, okay? And I want that in the next two weeks, okay? That's a really great place to start with coming up with goal setting and goal planning so that we can actually work the numbers to get the result we want. Because without these numbers, hey, we're throwing spaghetti at a wall. We don't know if something works or not, right? It doesn't actually get us to the result. So if you're saying, I want five new clients at full sets, at $200 a full set, that's actually $1,000, okay, that you're trying to get into your business. But why, right? Like, what does that $1,000 do for you? Is that that we can't cover our expenses and we need to cover our operating expenses? Or is that because you want to make profit and you want to increase your pay, which by the way, your pay comes from the profit of the business. If we don't know those numbers, then we can't actually make strategic decisions on how much to discount and why and if that works or not. So instead of discounting, first and foremost, you're going to want to know your numbers. Because look, you may say, I want to make an extra $2,000 a month. Let's just throw that number out there. Okay, I want to make an extra $2,000 a month. That will cover my operating expenses. And then I'll be able to take home some money. I'll be able to take home, I don't know, say $1,000. $1,000 towards operating expenses, $1,000 towards personal pay. And so I want to make an extra 2000 or I want to make $2,000 a month. Well, do we do a discount? Do we increase our marketing? Do we increase our ad spend? Do we um, collaborate and network with another person? Do we offer them a discount, right? It then becomes a whole bunch of different ideas. But what we need to figure out is what is going to get us in the direct path closest to the goal in the easiest, simplest way possible. And this is where I find most people new to business or even those other business coaches and whatever out there overcomplicate business a lot because they will give you tons of different ideas on how to go from point A to point B, point A being where you're at now, point B being, being where you wanna be, and then you get overwhelmed as to which one's the right way and or the best way. That's ineffective coaching, that's ineffective business strategy, because it's one thing to have a bunch of ideas, but y'all y'all don't usually lack for ideas. Y'all usually lack on the clarity of what the end result is, because when you're clear on the end result, the strategy to get there is actually very few choices, and it becomes a yes or no conversation. Does this strategy, let's say discounting 50% off my full sets, get me closer to my goal or get me further away? One or the other, option A or option B. So let's use the example. I wanna make $2,000 um, a month in my business, and my initial goal is to make a 1,000 of that in the next two weeks by offering a discount. Okay, cool, so how much do we need to discount? I initially said five clients at full sets at 200, but if I wanna offer a discount, then I actually need more clients, right? So let's say I'm gonna offer, I don't know, let's test out a 20% off of the full set. So 20% off of $200 puts you at $160 a full set. 
Okay. If my goal is to do a thousand dollars of new clients in the next two weeks, uh, let's see, a thousand dollars divided by 160 means I need 6.25 clients. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a quarter of a client. So I'm just going to assume we'll round up. I need seven clients in the next two weeks, 14 days, however you want to look at it, at 20% off my full sets. So I'm going to test that out. There is no guaranteed discount that works for your audience until you test and experiment it out. Okay. When you throw discounts out there, obviously the higher the discount, the more people that are going to take you up on it most likely. However, there is a fine line between over discounting and drawing in the people that are only there for the discount that you're not getting customer lifetime value and you actually start to devalue your services. That whole know your worth, charge your worth, don't discount your prices, that kind of concept. Because let's just say I actually went to 50% off full sets and that put me at $100 a full set. But let's say for my fills, I charge 115. Well, what do you think the odds are of somebody who's coming in on a 50% discount? So they're only paying $100 on the full set. How likely are they to be able to have in their budget $115 for fills every two weeks? So essentially $230 plus tips. So call it like $260 a month to throw at this when they're only coming to you because you've discounted by 50%. Not likely, right? This is kind of like where Groupon gets a bad rap because they will discount your prices significantly and take a big chunk out of it. Um, that is their cost for doing the marketing for you. And those clients are not necessarily likely to retain. So you're discounting excessively without getting the revenue on the back end. Because look, especially with lashes, um, I don't see this as much with Brazilians, sometimes facials, but with lash lifts, lash extensions, brow lifts, brow tints, those have a recurring maintenance cycle. So there's customer lifetime value, the, the amount of times that customers come back and continue to pay that when you're a lash artist, you're actually banking your fully booked lifestyle uh, is the repeat appointment. It's not the new client appointments. It's not the full sets. The full sets just get them in the door. It is the fills that are the bread and butter of your business. Okay. So I'm cool with you playing discount on full sets all day long and experimenting with who that draws in and the marketing and the messaging to get the right types of clients in the door for maybe a little bit of a discount incentive to get them to, to book now, as opposed to waiting another two to three weeks or two to four months or whatever. Um, but we want them coming back because that's how we get fully booked. So if I'm looking at, I want to make an extra $2,000 a month, not just this month, but every month, I have to consider the customer lifetime value in this conversation. So while yes, I could discount 50% off and maybe I'm okay taking a cut into the profits, although most of you don't know what that is and we'll get into that in a second, but I'm okay taking a cut into the profits or losing money on the discount uh, as long as I make it up on the back end, right? As long as I make it up in them coming back every two weeks at $115 a fill. We have to find what that sweet spot is, which is discounting, which to a client both um, creates the scarcity of, I need to take action on this now because I know how much it is normally charged and now it's on discount. And we also want to encourage them to seriously consider or, or lower the risk, right? It's like, I know $200 is a lot of money. She's offering at 180, so it's less risky. You know, I'm not risking the full 200. So if I don't end up liking it, I'm not out as much money. That's also what discounting can do is lower the risk of what they're investing in. So how much do you discount by? Well, this, you're gonna actually need to know your numbers. You're gonna need to have to understand what profit levels you're gonna be at for each service to know what you have to play with. Because the last thing we want is for you to discount so much that you end up losing money that month, right? Now, when you're a solo business owner, you have far more profitability because you don't have labor costs in your business. If you have a team, you have a lot more costs, you have less wiggle room to discount. So by the by, those of you that are, um, you know, solo, if you have a competitor that has a large team, she has a lot more overhead than you do. So you can be a little bit more competitive with your discounts, just FYI. So when we're looking at how do I increase sales by $2,000 a month, I want to look at, well, how many new clients do I need in the door to stay 
so that I increase by $2,000. So all of this is just, I'm throwing a bunch of numbers at you by design. I'm trying to confuse you a little bit because in the Know Your Numbers Masterclass, which is going to be on August 18th, registration opens today for that class. We're going to break this all down so that you know exactly money coming in, money coming out, and you can make informed decisions because you know your numbers on how to grow the business, on how to grow the profitability of the business. Because if you discount your prices constantly, that's not, you're going to have to cover your operating expenses. That's where the money's going to go. If there's anything left over, which we call profit, that's what goes into your pocket. So when you are discounting, just keep in mind that you're discounting, the amount that you're discounting is actually being taken out of your pocket. You're not being paid that amount. So if you don't have a strategy in place to retain those discounted new clients and you're just discounting to discount, you're only hurting yourself. It sucks. It really does. And then you have a belief that I have to discount more and I have to do steeper discounts, but then it's not getting the clients in the door. And now you feel like business is hard and I don't know what I'm doing. I have to shut my doors and it's a whole, it's a whole thing. We don't want to go through it. You've probably been there. I've been there. So discounting without a strategy and without knowing your numbers is a really risky way of um, losing a lot of money very quickly. So there are really effective strategies to discounting. We talk about this in our coaching calls in all of our programs, especially our mastermind when they have team members, because we want them having, um, when they have new team members, we have new artist specials that we work them through. We want them to discount strategically. We don't discount all the time. Um, we could have new client specials. We can have all sorts of fun discounts to incentivize people. Now we can have ads that go to discounts. There's a lot of different ways that discounts can be used very effectively and strategically to grow your business. But again, if we are not retaining clients, which is a number you'll want to know how many new clients did I see last month and how many stayed and booked their next appointment, those are important numbers to know. But from the basic level of knowing your numbers, you're going to want to understand how money comes into your business and how it goes out and how to understand when we need to use something like a discount. We would use a discount to incentivize new clients coming in the door. But if we don't actually retain those clients, then a discount is not effective. We actually need to fix the leaky bucket that is our business before we start getting new clients in the door. All of this can be translated from the data, the numbers in your business. And until you can translate the numbers in your business, you're not going to have a strategy in place. You're not going to know if something works or something didn't work. A lot of people throw discounts out there and then they never go back and look at, did that discount work? They just assume it didn't work and try a new discount or try a steeper discount without actually being strategic in fixing what the problem was. Because I can tell you this right now, discounting is not the way you grow your business. It's not. Marketing is, and discounting is a part of marketing. Okay. So I, I can prove it to you right now. Go onto your social media or go onto your email list or wherever you communicate with people and go throw a discount out there. Just one post with a discount. Now, if you've done a good job of being consistent and building an audience and marketing yourself, you will have people take you up on the discount, right? Because they'll see it, they'll engage with it. There's lurkers who've been waiting for the right time. And all of a sudden, you've got like a 24 hour flash sale or whatever, and they're going to take you up on that. But if you have nobody taking you up on that discounts because your marketing sucks, not because the discount sucks, we can't actually identify if the discount sucks if nobody saw the offer, right? So it is a part of marketing. It should not be your only marketing strategy. And it certainly won't work if you can't retain clients coming in the door, okay? But every piece of marketing, if you, I want you to take this away, tattoo it on your forehead if you have to. Marketing is all an experimentation. It is all testing stuff out. So put your experimenter hat on and test it out. But first and foremost, you're going to have to know your numbers so that you know how long do I discount? How steep do I discount? Because it all comes down to money. What is the money you need to be making in the business? What is the profit you need to be making in the business so that you can pay yourself? Because again, the goal we started out in business for was to make money, not just in the business, to be able to pay ourselves and pay ourselves well. So we have to be able to price ourselves in a competitive way, but in a way that is profitable right? We have to be able to have enough wiggle room in our at least full sets or our initial client sets or services to be able to discount. Because if we have razor thin, what we call margins, your profit margin, and you don't have any wiggle room to discount because you're a rock bottom pricing and it's only there to cover your operating expenses and maybe a little cash for you, we actually can't discount because then we would be out money. We'd be losing money. We can't keep the business open if we're losing money. 
right? So all of this to say is that I'm inviting you into the Know Your Numbers Masterclass happening live August 18th. Yes, there will be a replay. Um, registration is now open. Uh, so you can go to thelashpreneur.com. Normally this class, $49. Honestly, I'm going to raise the price after this launch uh, to $97, maybe even $197 because it is that good. I have zero doubt that the value of this class is well over $500, but I like to make sure to get this into all hands, even those that are brand new starting a business. So I try to keep the price point low at $49. We are offering it on special until the night before the masterclass for $19. I might as well give it away at this point. Okay. So my guarantee for this class is that if you do not know your business is profitable by the end of class and at least one way to improve profitability by the end of the class, I will give you your $19 back. All you do is email Rachel. She's on my customer success team. Hi at the Lashpreneur. Rachel, I want my money back. I didn't get the guarantee or I didn't, I, I don't know if my business is profitable, whatever. No questions asked. We'll send you your money back. Okay. So I am taking on all the risk here to make sure that you understand this information because out of everything that I have taught over the last eight years of running the Lashpreneur, financial understanding, which is the keystone to running a business. Y'all want to make more money, but you don't track your numbers. Math ain't math and on that. This is the one thing that I wish every single person that ran a business understood, right? It will make your life so much business, be, better. It will make your business so much smoother and less of an emotional roller coaster because you'll understand what the numbers are telling you in a way that doesn't make you feel defeated. Because here's the thing. The, the reason why most people don't want to track their numbers is they're worried. They, they tell me, I'm scared to understand what the numbers are telling me. But here's the thing. You're already having the experience of what the numbers are telling you. There is not any new experience that's going to happen in your reality when you look at the numbers. In fact, when you look at the numbers, it's going to tell you what the problem is specifically. And inside the Know Your Numbers Masterclass, you're going to be taught how to find the solution or what the solution is based on what the numbers are telling you. So there's no need to be afraid of it. In fact, I would be more afraid in not knowing how to solve for it. That's a much scarier place to be because your business could go, go under at any moment. You're gonna be caught off guard or blindsided when all of a sudden you get a tax bill that you can't pay or your bank account's overdrafted and you have no new clients coming in. I'm going to help you understand the language of your business by way of its numbers inside of the Know Your Numbers Masterclass. And again, I'm taking on all the risks. So if you think the class sucks, you didn't learn anything, you don't know the difference between a profit and loss statement, you don't know how to improve your profitability in your business, I am taking on all of that risk. I will give you your money back if the class sucks. And you know what? One next level, you can keep it. You can keep the class, right? So it is me taking on all of the risk of that class because I'm so confident that I know how to teach this in a very bite-sized, easy to consume way. And it is essential for your growth, no matter what level you're at in business. It took me making $30,000 a month in the Lashpreneur to go, I'm not paying myself and we're doing the most we've ever done back in, what was it, 2019? I should probably figure out this mathy math stuff. And I had the belief I suck at money. My dad is super complicated with money, like super, super complicated with money. So I thought having that level of complexity with financials and money and all of that was being good with financials. Turns out man just likes to overcomplicate things in general. Thanks for that, pops. Uh, so I found a way to make it very simple and... I have found that after I shut down the business and came back, learning this stuff takes the emotion out of running the business. And anytime I'm having a freak out, like, oh my God, are we going to be able to make payroll at the end of the month? Every time I go back to the numbers and they paint a very different picture than what my feelings are telling me. And as a woman, our feelings lie to us all the time, at least one week a month. Uh, and so running your business off of feelings instead of financials is a very dangerous way to run a business and it's not sustainable and it's not fun. So... I'd love for you to join me uh, inside the Know Your Numbers Masterclass live on August 18th. You can go to register at thelashpreneur.com slash knowyournumbers. Link is in the bio. Get in on the discount now. You will be able to join after the 18th, but it will be what? Triple the price. So you might as well get in on it now as I'm being generous at offering at a very significant discount because I want as many people to get their information into their brains and into their businesses so that we can sail off the rest of 2024, right before the holiday season starts to pick up uh, so that you don't have to discount unnecessarily and so that you can actually start to enjoy more profit in your business and more pay in your pocket. All right, y'all. Until next time, have a good one.